Dear students, today we will start two groups. One is known as compare group and another is called as protect group in review ribbon. So in fact, you have two documents and you want to compare both documents, whether they are equivalent, whether they contain the same terms in those documents or there are some changes which have been made in those documents. So this is uh, very important, especially when a professor receives two assignments from two different uh, students, student A and student B, and professor want to see that whether both assignments are the same or not. So it might be the case that student B has copied from student A or student A has copied student from student B. So what professor do? Uh, professor take that uh, both of the files and apply this compare function and this compare function will tell us that uh, whether the both files are uh, exactly same or they have certain changes which the other student or another file has been made. Then uh, the next thing is the restrict editing. Uh, that is for, for example, if a document is being uh, edited by multiple people, uh, by multiple users, so in that situation, you want to restrict that this particular place should not be edited by any other user. So you can just uh, make that restricted area. So there you, you can only make changes, but other users will not be allowed to make change, uh, even not able to review. And then uh, I will also tell you that how you can add a password uh, to your file while saving so that that file cannot be opened by anyone else unless he or she knows the exact password. So let's start the practical. So let's open a new document. So here is a new document and let's type a very small sentence like this is an ITC course. And I want to save this document somewhere here with the name ITC1. Let's replace it. And I want to again save this document with another name ITC2. So now both of the files contain the same sentence that is this is an ITC course. So now let's try the compare function. We are in the review ribbon. Let's go to the compare compare and it asks us two files. So let's say the first file is ITC1 and the second file is ITC2 and let's compare. So this is telling us that world has found no differences between the two documents. So if the file was totally copied from the other file, so it will tell us like this. So let's change a little bit thing. For example, in this file, in ITC2 file, I am saying ITC course at Virtual University of Pakistan. I have added this thing. So let's save it. And then let's start to compare again. So I have selected ITC1. I have selected ITC2. And no, it is telling us that there are some things which have been changed in this sentence and you need to see that what are those changes, right? So it has, if you click on it, it is showing you by underlining the sentence which has been added in this file at view of Pakistan. So it is also telling us that this was inserted by administrator on 10th December 2018 at this time and this is a new change. So it can also tell that whether uh, while copying a file a student has for example uh, copied at what time and what are those changes which have been made in different files. So it's better not to copy any times and it's better always try to comply and always try to learn and always try to make your own files. But this is not the only case that uh, we can uh, find out the copy cases. 
So the compare function can also be used in number of other scenarios where we want to check that whether both documents are uh, similar. For example, if you have a CV um, and there are 10 documents and all of the documents have the same CV, so you can see that is there any difference between those documents. So if they are uh, containing the same thing, you can just delete nine files and you will remain with only the one file which is more neat and clean. So uh, you can also try to combine uh, multiple files if you want. Uh, based on the copies, for example, if I click on it, on it, so now it has combined the changes, whatever was made into a new document and it has given it the name, document number 19. Then uh, we have seen this and then we can also protect some uh, something. So let's uh, practice the protect on another document, for example, here. So here is a document which comprises of 26 pages. And I want to uh, protect this first paragraph of abstract from anyone that no one should be able to change it. So I have selected it and I click on restrict editing and limit formatting, editing restrictions. No changes are possible. Yes, and restrict permissions. Yes, start enforcing. So, when I, as soon as I click on this button, so it will ask me the password. So I said, okay, this has a password of ITC. So no one would be able to uh, edit this paragraph unless that user knows the password, exact password, then that user can uh, make changes. And then the last thing in this module is that when you want to save any file, you can add a password to this file. So go into save as option. And here is an option of tools. So go into the tools, general options, and then you can enter the password. So for example, ITC that password would be used for to open the file and if you want to add another password to modify the file you can add so let's add ITC again here so it is read only no let's do not do it so just open and modify okay and it is asking to re-enter the password I have entered it and modify password re-enter, I have entered it, save. So now let's close this document and go to this place, open this document and try to, no, we have saved to this document or some other document. Save as. Let's do it on a simple document so that we have the trace. So, for example, this one. Save as computer right here. And I say protected document and in tools channel options I said ITC could be the password and ITC ITC all right and author is the administrator save So let's try to open it. Where it has been saved? It has been saved somewhere over here. Yes. So now it is asking us 
that I cannot open this file unless you provide the password. So I provide ITC and then it also asks the password to modify. So now the file is opened and now I can make any changes whatever I want. So let's conclude today's module. We have learned that how we can compare uh, different files how can we restrict uh, the document or some portion of the document and we have also seen that how can you add a password to a document that it cannot be opened by anyone else you or by anyone who doesn't know the password or then you have also added a password to modify a document so whether if it is uh, opened already but there is a password to modify unless that password is not correct so the user can only see the file but cannot make any changes to this file. So we will be coming back to you with another exciting features of Microsoft Word in the next module.